good, man. Very good. So the very first picture you got to show is the dog point blank range. So no, you go back to remember the first time we did it, you're, you're on the exact right side. We have to back chain this whole process. So we show the dog the ball is now available on the right side. Now start to slice the pie a little bit. So now you adjust to the dog. The dog and the ball stay in the exact same position in the beginning. The ball never loses, the dog never loses sight of the ball in the beginning. So now you start slicing the pie a little bit further. Come almost in front of the dog. He's still looking at the ball. That's exactly what you want. The common mistakes are this, is that the ball gets out of sight. The dog loses sight of the ball and then he goes hunting for it. And then it adds a little gray matter. So now come a little further than you were the last rep. A little bit further. Perfect. So we don't want him losing focus of the ball. One more step, right? Exactly what we want. Because in the beginning, it's not about it's not about getting eye contact and heel position. It's about vigilance to the ball. Then later we ask for eye contact, which will be indirect. Good. The ball does not move. It's a target that he knows exactly how to acquire it. Good. So fine. We want him thinking about that. Get yourself tighter. Get yourself in heel position. Yeah. Perfect. Open up your left hand a little bit, like outside of his head, so he's got a, a clear shot at your eyes. Perfect, John. That's exactly what you do. You block, so he can't come in front like he wants to. We're good. Perfect. Good. Okay with that, that's all right. Yep, that's all you gotta do, exactly. Just a little help with the leash, you just don't let them come in front. Good, done.